Hi, I'm Jeremy and welcome to the very first episode of Jeremy's Tech Channel. And today we're going to talk about why I decided to install Linux on a brand new gaming laptop. Now there's a lot of reasons why I'm choosing to do this. Um, some of them might make sense to you and some of them might not. But in my mind, this is going to be a great journey for me. I'm going to learn a lot about software, hardware, operating systems, why things work, why things don't work. Just a little background about me. Um, I was working in uh, IT at um, a large corporation, uh, doing desktop support, handling server support, email, all of those kinds of things. Um, and there was a lot of things for me to learn. And so the guys that worked there that were training me just gave me a whole bunch of old desktop computers. And I was learning to piece them together and make them run again, taking a hard drive from here, taking the RAM from there, putting it in the computer, making these computers work. And my wife said it was just like a computer graveyard um, in our garage. But what it did is it allowed me to learn about the insides of computers and I really loved it. It was a lot of fun. But what was happening is, is right about this time, I don't, I don't remember exactly when, but Windows Vista was coming out. Um, so this may be a little later than 12, 13 years ago. It was a long time ago. But when Windows Vista was coming out um, at the corporate office, it was a big deal where we were having to refresh and update all of these computers. And the computers that I was working on could not handle Windows Vista. So I was thinking to myself, what options do people have with older hardware? Um, and I found Linux. So that was my first go with Linux. Um, and I was installing Linux on, uh, on these devices and I was giving them to family members and friends. And these are people that just used email clients and web browsing even back then. Um, and so it was a very simple thing for me to give them and that was working. There were some challenges. I remember receiving an old laptop um, and I remember uh, trying to use the wireless card in it and it was a bear to use. We had to take the Intel proprietary driver, you had to put a wrapper on it and hopefully it would work and it didn't always work. And I remember getting frustrated with that. And that was about the, the last point for me. I was moving out of IT and I was actually um, moving into more of a um, audio visual uh, lighting production piece as I moved and started to work for a church. And um, I was the worship leader, um, guitarist, um, I, you know, took care of all the production pieces. And if you've ever been into a, a modern uh, church, there's a lot of um, audio, visual and lighting. So I moved from uh, Windows um, and Linux environment to a Mac. And for the past 12 years, I've been doing just that. Um, that's where the 12 years came from. Um, for the last 12 years, I've been using a Mac. It's just great to use Final Cut Pro. It's great to use Logic Pro. I didn't want to have to worry about a lot of things. And the hardware and the software um, are designed to work together pretty well. And you know what? It did. I also loved the ecosystem. Um, some of you are thinking, they got your hooks. They got the hooks in you. Um, and they did. You know, I'm actually filming this on an iPhone right now. Um, and when as soon as I hit stop, and record on that thing, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be put up on the iCloud and I'm gonna be able to access it from my Mac Pro or from my iPad and be able to look at it and manipulate it from there. Um, there were some great things about Mac, but I'm needing to bring in some more income. And I didn't feel comfortable using uh, company hardware, you know, uh, to do that. So I was like, I need to get my own device um, and, you know, my wife and I are looking at doing a lot more traveling and things like that. So I didn't want to necessarily spend $3,000 for a Mac laptop to continue to do what I'm doing. And then I damage it and I'm out, you know, I just, I didn't want to deal with all of that. So I was like, well, what if I got a really good Windows laptop and put Linux on it? Where are we at with Linux? And let me see what I can do. So I made, I know you guys have probably watched the Linus Tech Tips 
Linux gaming challenge. That was a fascinating um, video to watch, a series of uh, videos to watch. And you know what? I'm going to go a couple steps further than that. I'm going to do my production, um, video editing, work, gaming, all of it on this laptop. Um, and I've already bought the laptop, so I'm committed. And in fact, what I'm doing right now to record this video is I'm using that iPhone and I'm connecting wirelessly to OBS. So you might see some because I'm connecting through my wireless network right now. And I am recording on a Linux laptop right now. And I'm going to edit the video on Linux. And I'm used to Final Cut Pro with all of my plugins. I'm used to editing the audio with all of my plugins. And we're going to see where this is going to go. So this is for you to see what are we going to learn? What's happening? What are we? What am I going to do? Am I going to be able to edit? Am I going to be able to uh, work at a level that I'm used to? Or am I going to be giving up some things? Um, I've had this laptop for a couple weeks. Um, and I can tell you, let me put it this way. Linux has come a long way in 12 years. <laughs> a long way. So what I want to do is um, on this channel, we're going to talk about my Linux journey. We're going to talk about the pains and the triumphs of trying to edit video and audio. You know, like I said, I'm a musician. I, you know, so let's get some of that stuff going and see how it's going to be when I record some things. Um, uh, video, I bet some of you hearing this are thinking, I already know the pitfalls he's going to come through. Well, feel free to comment. Feel free to help walk me through some of these things. Um, Subscribe if you're interested in seeing, you know, whether this can be a dumpster fire or if this can be a great success story. Um, subscribe. Um, and I know you guys, if you watch a lot of YouTube, you hear them say like and subscribe. Okay. I'm going to try to minimize that as best as I can, but I am going to remind you because you'll go through a video and then, then you're, you move on to the next. And um, I just appreciate that you've taken the time to watch this video. But what I want to do is um, I want to not only walk through my Linux journey, I also want to walk through um, hardware um, and experiences I have supporting other people's uh, devices, um, things I'm using, something as simple as this USB microphone, um, or uh, I was able to, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys, a um, Thunderbolt um, external NVMe uh, drive and so it essentially allows me to take an MV, uh, M.2 MV, NVMe uh, drive, a terabyte drive, pop it into this little enclosure and plug it into the Thunderbolt port on this laptop and I should be getting 10 gigabits per second. We'll see and we can test those things together. We can check out and see what hardware work, what hardware doesn't work with Linux, what might work with your situation. Um, I specifically purchased this laptop. I bought a Dell um, gaming laptop. It's a Dell G15. Um, it's got an i7 uh, Intel processor on it with eight cores, um, 16 threads. It's uh, got a NVIDIA GeForce 3060 graphics card, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, terabytes NVMe storage. Um, this was no slouch of a computer. Um, and to get something similar, I know it's hard to compare Macs now because with Macs, they're using the M1 chip now. And so it's really hard to direct compare. But um, uh, this was uh, $1,600 in comparison to $3,000. So I spent half the amount of money. Um, real, uh, you know, real quick um, side note, um, I had Windows on this machine for about 30 minutes. I want to do a video of my little experience with that. Um, not a fan of that. And um, this is going to be a great ride. So um, stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.